10 years following the census, states redraw their congressional district lines. Redistricting is supposed to ensure that everybody is equally represented in Congress based on population changes. But sometimes the new boundaries can give one political party or the other an unfair advantage. CNBC's Andrea Day now on the battles playing out ahead of the midterms. The voters elect representatives, but that's not always how it works. Sometimes politicians get to pick their voters in a process called gerrymandering. There are a lot of victims of gerrymandering, but principally the voters. Mike Lee is a redistricting expert at the Brennan Center for Justice at NYU Law. He says gerrymandering is a bipartisan problem that hurts all voters. Redistricting is something that's supposed to make sure that maps are fair and that they're in compliance with all laws. But unfortunately, you know, almost from the very beginning of the country, it's also been an opportunity for people to put their thumb on the scale. It works like this. Imagine a hypothetical state with a population of 25 people. 10 belong to one party, 15 belong to the other. Now let's say they get to send five representatives to Congress. Draw the lines horizontally, you get proportional representation. Two reps for the gray party and three from the white. But draw the district lines vertically and the gray party would get none because the white party would have a majority in every district. I was pretty frustrated with the new district and how it turned out. Guillermo Ramos runs a small law firm in District 24 in a suburb outside of Dallas, Texas. The growing Latino population here helped make this one of the most competitive house races of 2020. It's a district that Joe Biden won, but the Republican candidate won by about 1.5 points. The city of Farmers Branch used to be entirely contained inside District 24, but not anymore. Lee says the new maps here carve up the Latino vote into three different districts. It's already difficult enough electing a Democrat in this district, and it just became that much more difficult now. But extreme cases of gerrymandering happen in deep blue states as well. The 13th district is just like a skinny little snake, sort of, that, that cuts through the center of the state. Do you want to go down the slide, Adelaide? Johanna Bierman lives in Illinois with her family on this farm. I think that gerrymandering is a perfect example of the kind of silly games that, that get played in politics. A Democratic-led legislator here drastically changed the shape of Johanna's district, making it far thinner by cutting out precincts in more rural areas. What Democrats did in redistricting is that they decided to convert a competitive uh, Republican district into a safe uh, Democratic district. So is there any solution to fix a broken redistricting system? Lee says there is. You look at states like California and Michigan, which have adopted independent commissions, they produce much more balanced maps. And Shep, it's not over yet. There are still legal battles playing out over many of these new maps across the country right now. And some defenders say, you know what, this is a perfectly legal political process that happens once every 10 years. Now, don't expect these cases to be settled anytime soon. And we could even wind up with some of these states having to redraw their maps yet again.